In this video, I will review the differences between the traditional RDS or Remote Desktop Services technology and the new Azure WVD or the Windows Virtual Desktop. WVD is a new set of technologies to deploy virtual desktops in Azure. However, there are many services and companies out there already offering cloud-based desktops. So is Windows Virtual Desktop something new or more of the same just from a different vendor? I am Vadim Vladimirsky, and if you are an MSP looking to build or grow an Azure practice, then this is the channel for you. It is important to remember that virtual desktops are all about Windows, and Microsoft owns and controls this operating system. Many of the differences between WVD and RDS are about Windows, and only Microsoft could have made these changes. Let's take a look at some of them. With RDS, licensing the Microsoft software can be complex and expensive. Because RDS runs on a Windows Server operating system like the Server 2016 or 2019 OS, it requires an RDS license with software assurance to be used in the cloud, as well as the server operating system. And if you're going to be using Microsoft Office, then you'll need a special version that has shared computer activation as well. With WVD, Microsoft has dramatically simplified the licensing and everything you need is included with a Microsoft 365 package, which has both the Windows operating system as well as the Office piece. This makes licensing WVD much, much easier and less expensive than RDS. RDS runs on Windows Server. So whenever you create a virtual desktop using RDS, you're actually not running a true Windows 10 operating system for your users, but rather what's called a Windows 10 desktop experience. Because it's a server operating system, there are some functional limitations as well as application compatibility challenges. For WVD, Microsoft created a brand new version of the true Windows 10 enterprise operating system for multi-session use. It's called Windows 10 for WVD or Windows 10 multi-session. This allows users to have a very consistent end user experience regardless of if they're using a physical device with Windows 10 or leveraging a virtual desktop running in Azure with Windows 10 for WVD. RDS uses a profile management technology called User Profile Disks, or UPDs. UPDs have some limitations, namely they cannot be used with OneDrive for synchronization and files on demand, and they, it does, also doesn't support indexed search and Outlook and other Office products. With WVD, Microsoft includes a technology called FS Logics, which is a new profile containers technology that eliminates a lot of these limitations and supports things like OneDrive and Index Search, making the user experience very similar to what they would experience on a local physical device running Windows 10. Finally, with RDS, you have to install and manage multiple infrastructure RDS roles, like the connection broker, RD gateway, licensing server, and others, on individual virtual machines that are running in Azure. That doesn't just increase the cost of the infrastructure that you need to run virtual desktops, but it also requires maintenance on an ongoing basis, so there is some labor involved in keeping the system running. With WVD, Microsoft has taken over the licensing, management, and installation of the software, and they are operating it as a PaaS, Platform as a Service offering. So there are no more infrastructure roles for RDS to deal with, which reduces the cost of not requiring infrastructure and also simplifies ongoing management. RDS has been a great technology that has seen a lot of adoption for many years. Now Microsoft has extended its capabilities with WVD and has eliminated some of the constraints that were part of RDS in the past. Give WVD a try by signing up for a trial of Nerdio for Azure at the link below.